Hey guys, Chris with RC Worst here. Welcome back to another great video. Here we are sitting in a well house. We got called out to a job site to help a customer get set up on chlorinating their well. So we figured since we've talked about it a lot, made a few videos about it, we'd show you how we're gonna go about it today in the field. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is isolate any parts of the system that we don't wanna chlorinate. So we've got a ball valve here that leads on into the house. We're gonna go ahead and close this. That way we can run a closed loop of circulation on the chlorine concentration just between the well and the pressure tank area here. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add some chlorine. So we'll do that next. Okay, so we've got the well head here. I don't know if you can see it very well. Uh, no pun intended, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and add this high concentration, 12.5% bleach. We're gonna add about a third of the gallon here because we've got, we've kind of calculated the depth of the well and uh, we're gonna need about that concentration for in this instance. And if you need to know how much chlorine goes in your well, we did make a video on that. So search through those playlists and we have a video on how to calculate exactly how much chlorine you need for your well. Uh, so again, let's get to pouring. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our one end of our hose and shove it down into the well. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get past this coupling. No, we're just gonna have to have it just like that. Okay, so we're over here at the hose bib in between the well uh, head and the pressure tank and the closed valve. We've got our hose hooked up to start pushing water that way and back down the well head. So all that's left now to do is start the circulation. So we're gonna open this valve up let some water flow. And there we go. All right, so we're back at the office. Welcome back. Uh, obviously I'm wearing a different shirt, but that's because it's a different day. We ran out of time to finish shooting the outro when we got back to the office, had a meeting. Um, anyways, so basically the, the whole aspect of chlorination, in that particular case I wanna mention, um, the customer called and reported that suddenly his well started giving him a lot of iron in the home, a much higher concentration than he was used to. Uh, so what we did in this case is kind of shock the well with a, a decent concentration of chlorine to basically help to oxidize that iron and hopefully help a lot of it fall out and settle towards the bottom of the well. But actually in the process of circulating the water like we did by having the water come in through the top and then be pumped through the pump, you know, that whole circulation process, what we were trying to also achieve is kind of some turbulence, some movement inside of the well because inside of a well, you have perforated pipe a good majority of the way down. Um, and that perforated pipe is what allows the water to replenish back into the well through those perforations. And especially if you have an iron problem, but just generally speaking, those perforations will accumulate a buildup of material. Um, and exactly what that material is depends on, of course, your particular area and your geography. Um, but in this case it was iron so what we were also trying to do is stir that up and help break some of that loose so that we would decrease the overall concentration of available iron in the well and just drop as much of that could as we could to the bottom and the reality is is I've recommended this process to a number of people. It works for some people, it doesn't work for other people. Some people do it a couple of times a year or annually, um, and then obviously the people it doesn't work for just don't do it, they have to resort to other measures. Uh, but it's a relatively inexpensive and easy way to help improve the, the well. It can help improve yield by cleaning up those, um, those perforations. You can actually, so if your yield starts to deplete with time, I mean, you could have hard water buildup, which the chlorine is gonna have a real tough time breaking through that. You may have to hire a water jet type service or some other well scouring type service. Uh, but chlorine is an inexpensive starting point. And in the process of doing that, you're out also decontaminating the well of any potential contaminants that could have been in there. Uh, so it's a good proactive way to, to kind of address some of those issues. There's a variety of reasons that you would wanna add chlorine to a well. So if you ever have questions or have issues with your well, uh, feel free to give us a call. Chances are we've seen it before. Um, so that's probably about all I've got to wrap up this video. So thanks for joining us. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we will catch you next time.